In coverage of Hurricane Sally, Sally's winds are sending waves crashing onto the shore along the Gulf Coast. And farther west, officials from New Orleans to Mobile are paying close attention to the storm and its flood threat. We're going to check in with Chief Meteorologist Rob Perillo for the latest on the storm in just a moment. But first, let's head out live to Biloxi with Chris Welty, who has details on the preparations there and along the coast. Chris. Hey guys, this is Biloxi Bay right behind me and it's very choppy compared to what it was yesterday when we drove through this area. And I'm going to step behind the camera and I'm going to zoom in for you and I want you to see just how choppy that water is, but also you can see that although the water is high, it has gone down quite a bit today. You can see some of that debris in this area right here along the uh, banks of the casino. We're right by the Palace Casino and Resort. And this is what I really want to show you, though, is this parking garage right here. It's completely inundated on the first level of the garage. Now, we haven't seen any cars uh, stuck in any of that flood water, but it does appear that this water has gone down quite a bit in the garage at this point. But Mississippi Governor uh, Tate Reeves is concerned with how slow this storm is moving. He says that residents along the Gulf Coast should not let their guard down. He says that with the storm moving slowly, it could still move west again and really affect this area of Gulfport, Biloxi, Ocean Springs. But take a look at this video we shot in New Orleans earlier today along the lakefront, and you can see Lake Pontchartrain, just how aggressive it was, those waves crashing on the shore and the water going all the way up to the levee. But the water, the levee is doing its job. It's holding that water back, so uh, no homes are threatened right now in that area, which is definitely some good news. But but residents along the Gulf Coast are keeping a very close eye on what Hurricane Sally will do. Chief Meteorologist Rob Perillo is standing by and Rob